Right, hello. Today we're going to talk about pressure. Now, pressure, you may remember from key stage 3, equals force over area. Force is measured in newtons. Area is measured in metres squared. So if you divide newtons by metres squared, we come up with newtons per metre squared. Now, because there was a guy, a French guy, a long time ago who did a lot of work on pressure called Pascal, we thought in his honour we would rename the unit the Pascal. So these two units are equal. Okay, You can use either interchangeably. Now, pressure is very useful when we start to look at hydraulics. Okay, a Hydraulics is a system that's used to multiply forces. I'll give you an example. Here, we have a big brake pad for a car, a brake system. Okay, Now when you push on the brakes, it helps you multiply the force to stop the car. Trying to stop the car Flintstone style would be very, very difficult. So, because this is a fluid in here, we know that the pressure is equal throughout it. And fluids are non-compressible, so the pressure here equals the pressure here. Now, we can get rid of that pressure because we know that pressure equals the force over the area, and here it will also equal the force over the area. The pressure remains the same. So if we have the force here exerted on a certain area, we can multiply the force if we change the area. So we've got a bigger area, therefore we'll have a bigger force. So to give you an example, if for example we push with uh, 100 newtons here on an area of 2 meters squared, and here we have an area of 4 meters squared, we can do a little cross multiplication. So we have F1 over A1 times F2 over A2. So if we're looking for F1, we'll do some cross multiplication. This is going to mean that F1 times A2 over A1 is equal to F2. So what that means is if we do 100 times area 2, which is 4 metres, over area 1, that's going to give us 400, divided by 2, that is going to give us 200 newtons. So we have used a change in area to multiply the force to make it much easier to stop your car using a hydraulic system.